When I was in eighth grade, I had the pleasure of meeting a woman named Anusha Ansari. Anusha is the first female private space explorer. That means the first woman to travel to space, not through a government agency, as well as the first Muslim woman and the first person from Iran ever to travel to space. She came to the local science center in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, my hometown, and my mother had the infinite wisdom to let me skip school that day for this once in a lifetime opportunity. Now, the entire memory is a blur of excitement, but I do recall my very anxious eighth grade self with my heart pounding, going and sitting in that lecture hall and watching Anusha's story. And I walked away thinking to myself, if this person can follow her dream and get all the way to space and become a scientist, maybe I can too. And I actually somehow mustered the courage to go up and speak with her after her talk. And I just remember being awestruck by, by the fact that this person was in front of me in real life and able to make her dreams into a reality. I soon decided that I too wanted to start studying astronomy in space, and I pursued that journey here at Ohio State. I quickly discovered, however, that not everyone has the same access to the sciences, and this became clear to me through another Ohio State program called Shakespeare and Autism. So I, in fact, have a theater background to begin with, and so I was really excited to engage with this theater department program here at Ohio State. It's a partnership with the Royal Shakespeare Company where we use acting games to work with children on the autism spectrum. These theater games are designed to foster life skills, like making eye contact, an imaginative play that can sometimes have the potential to be more challenging for children with autism. I learned through these games that there are entire populations of people who are not receiving the same access to the various disciplines that I had a passion in. And so I decided to work with the Shakespeare and Autism program and redesign these theater games to teach science concepts. This was done through a partnership with COSI, our science center here, where we organized a large sensory friendly day for children with developmental disabilities to come out to the science center and experience a day of discovery and learning designed especially for inclusion and with universal design in mind. From there, however, I discovered that it's not just children with autism who are being left out of these fields. And this is when I became really passionate about tactile astronomy. So this means using different 3D models to make astronomy accessible through the sense of touch. And this is most useful for blind learners who are so often left out of the astronomy field. It is often misperceived as a purely visual science, when in reality, over 95% of our universe can't be seen by anyone. And so I became really passionate about making astronomy something that everyone can access. One way to do this is through taking different astronomical objects, like a galaxy seen here, and assigning various textures to the structural components. I did this through a, a partnership with the Space Telescope Science Institute using data from the Hubble Space Telescope. Together, we were able to create 3D printed galaxies and work with students at local schools for the blind to get these in the hands of learners. In addition to using 3D printing, however, I think it's really important to share that you don't need high technology solutions to make accessibility a priority. It's truly a mindset shift. Thinking inclusively is just a frame of mind. And so if you don't have access to things like 3D printers or other high technology solutions, something that, I really, that really struck me was when I did a fellowship in South Africa at the South African Astronomical Observatory. There, I worked with a group of students at a local school for the blind with an astronomy outreach event. And I brought all of my galaxies and my tactile constellations, and all of these more complex 3D models. But the thing that struck these students the most were the little Play-Doh planets that I had made the morning of. And now, I say this because I was working with a group of students who were all girls and happened to be entirely blind. And so they didn't know what this planet was going to look like until I placed it in their palms. And so each time before I set the planet in their hands, I had these girls imagine what they were about to feel. And with every planet, they simply squealed with delight, quite literally jumping up and down with joy because they had no idea that if Jupiter was a basketball, then Saturn was a soccer ball, and that the sun was the size of their playground merry-go-round, and that poor baby little Pluto was just a speck of Play-Doh at the end. And so what I learned is that accessibility can be a simple 
simple as using household items and just taking a different approach to how we talk about astronomy and how we foster learning for all. With the help of the Ohio State President's Prize, I'm very excited to share that we'll be hosting an international conference on this topic. Sci Access is taking place right here in the Ohio Union this June 28th and 29th, and it's an entire conference dedicated to fostering disability inclusion and diversity in science and the STEM fields. I'm very excited to share that our keynote speakers are Dr. Temple Grandin, a renowned autism advocate and animal scientist, as well as none other than Anusha Ansari, the very woman who inspired me all those years ago. And so what, what my real takeaway for this is to have other students come out and join us here in Ohio to maybe have the same experience I had getting to listen to Anusha and Temple as well as over 60 other speakers who are coming here to Ohio to share their experience with disability advocacy in science and I hope that more students and more learners can come out and think to themselves maybe I too can explore the universe whether it's traveling to places like the moon and beyond or studying the universe through research and through innovation here on the ground. Thank you.